John D. Long Lake is a beautiful fishing lake, which was created in the 1970s due to the initiative of the South Carolina State Senator John D. Long III. Of course, this lake is named for his father, whose name was also John David Long. In addition, this John was also a South Carolina state senator who did great things for Union County and South Carolina. However, the lake has an unfortunate past, which stops many from enjoying its natural beauty. This tragic event, which I'm alluding to, was performed by a mother and by a woman who was voted the friendliest person by her senior class. In 1994, Susan Vaughn Smith captured the world's attention as she pled on television for the return of her children, who were taken in a carjacking. Over the next few days, while suspicion of foul play had already influenced dive teams to begin searching the lake. Susan kept the ruse going until nine days had passed. At that time, the then 23-year-old Susan broke down while at Union First Baptist Church. The truth was, Susan had gotten off work early and allowed her car to roll into the lake, with her two children still strapped in their car seats. After the confession, Smith led the investigators to the spot, and the dive team was able to retrieve the boys' small bodies. Susan's excuse for her heinous actions was ironically love. She had been having an affair with Tom Finley, who was the son of the man who owned the company she worked for. While Susan had already filed for divorce from her husband, her new man did not want children. In another tragic event, one year after the trial, a group of seven people made up of two families drowned in the lake while visiting the boys' memorial. This occurred as the suburban they were in accidentally rolled down the steep embankment. After this, the monument was moved up the road and the main boat ramp was permanently closed. Today, if you visit this beautiful lake, make sure that you take in the peaceful surroundings. And afterwards, go to the boys' monument and read the heartfelt words as you pay your respects to three-year-old Michael and 14-month-old Alexander, who will forever be young and in the arms of their Savior. Two little angels with beautiful smiles graced this earth for a little while. They touched the hearts of all around. More precious children could not be found. Given to us by our Father above, two little boys for all to love. Such beautiful children, each a special little boy, the apple of Daddy's eye, his pride and his joy. These two little angels have now gone home, never more this earth to roam. Soar, God's little angels, all over the sky. Spread your little wings and fly so high. Laughter and sorrow away from harm, now safe and secure in Jesus' arms. Michael and Alex will continue to live forever in our hearts. And I don't know what it said down there, but it that the, obviously that plaque was by his dad, their dads. And then dedicated in loving memory of Michael and Alex Smith, whose precious lives touched the hearts of all. Suffer little children to come unto me.